is up guys today i'm doing a re-upload on top five best coasters i've ever been on uh yeah uh recently i went to king's dominion and i decided since i did that i could uh re-upload this video and since i rode a lot of new rides i could uh re-rank them and add some new ones onto my list so i hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get right into it so Here's number five. What is, all right, I mean, for number five, I'm going to put Dominator. Dominator was really fun, but I mean, it kind of just felt like a normal coaster. I don't know how to explain it, but um, it was really fun. The chain lift is really loud and it's a uh, floorless, so it was actually really fun. Um, <clears throat> Another reason I'm putting it in number 5 is because I thought when I rode the wing seat it would be like kind of scary because it feels like you're flying and you're not on the coaster but you could it's not it doesn't really feel that way. But still, this is a very good coaster. I'm not saying it's bad. It's a little bumpy. I do like the duration of it. So, yeah, number 5 would be Dominator. For number four, we have Flight of Fear. This ride is an indoor launch coaster and it was one of the first launch LIM coasters made. It's really fun, but in this video, I'm showing you the one at King's Island, which is pretty much the same as the one in King's Dominion. King's Dominion, not end. And the lights are on. Usually the lights are off on this ride and it makes it really intense. The queue line is also really awesome. You go into a UFO and you see aliens and everything. And you get launched 54 miles an hour in 4 seconds. The theme of this coaster makes it even better than it already is. It goes upside down and it only has lap bars which makes it insane. I'm not usually a fan of lap bars because they make me... I don't know, but they kind of make me more scared and I just like having shoulder restraints, but I think I'm starting to like lap bars after riding this ride. So number four, Flight of Fear. And for number three, we have Storm Runner. This this just has such an intense launch and uh yeah it's really just overall fun after the um new new hydraulic launch they got it's um almost the same but since it's pretty new it's probably not even at full power so but still, it goes 72 miles an hour in like 2 seconds, 2 to 3 seconds, as you can see. Yeah, it still goes really fast and it's really intense. The launch is just so cool, but the length isn't as really powerful. It's only like 20 seconds long at the most. Although the elements after the launch are really fun. So that's why Storm Runner is number three for me. And for number two, we have the Incredible Hulk at Universal Studios. As I said in the last video, this coaster is just amazing. It's super smooth after it's been redone. It has an amazing theme. It has a launch after a little bit of um, chain lift. It has a cool theme. I think I already said that. It goes upside down. It's really long. The only thing it really doesn't have is airtime, but to be honest, it's kind of fine for me since it's so cool. So, yeah, really, this is um, the best you, almost the best you can get out of a coaster. The only reason I didn't put it in number one, like last video, is because I think the coaster I'm going to bring up next is a little more fun. Uh, mainly because of, um, 
different, like, it has different stuff, but, yeah, number two, Incredible Hulk at Universal Studios, I mean, no, not Universal Studios, uh, Islands of Adventure, <laughs> And for number one, I'm sorry I couldn't decide on one, but for my first option that I couldn't decide on was Twisted Timbers. After rewriting it, I totally regret putting it in fifth place, place in last video. Having your hands up on the drop, airtime, and other inversions just makes it so much better, too. If you have your hands up during the whole ride, yeah, it just makes it awesome. But even if you don't, you'll still have an amazing ride experience. It's really smooth. It it's a wooden coaster with lap bars that goes upside down. It has an overbank turn that doesn't really feel like an overbank. Amazing floater airtime and um uh, that's what makes it so well. It's very impressive for a wooden coaster to be honest. So, yeah, I hope um now for my other choice on number 1. And for my other choice of number one would be Intimidator 305. I mean, I'm really shocked that I got myself to ride this. It's the first Giga Coaster I've ever been on, and it's very intense. It's based off of NASCAR driver Dale Earnhardt, and um, the train is basically a NASCAR. It has so much force that most people on the first turn will black, I mean, gray out. Some people do black out. This coaster is 305 feet tall, kind of like in the title, and, I mean, it's really just thrilling. The turns are really powerful, and you get a little bit of floater airtime over the first hill. As you can see, going around right here on this hill, you get a little airtime. It doesn't look like you get airtime, but you actually kind of do. I'm not sure which seat gives you the most airtime for that, but it definitely gives you airtime. Um... It doesn't have a normal chain lift. It goes up faster than normal because it has a different style of chain lift. And every time it banks like that, it gives you a lot of G-force. And the coaster goes 90 miles an hour at the top speed. And this coaster really lives up to its name. Intimidator. So, yeah. Number one for my second choice would be Intimidator 305. The reason I didn't um, make this officially number one is because Twisted Timbers is just really cool when you have your hands up. And sorry that I, um, sorry about um, the Twisted Timbers last, for last video, because that, no, not for last video, but last clip I filmed where I did Twisted Timbers. At the end, my brother interrupted and I didn't feel like remaking it. But yeah, for my second choice on number one, would be Intimidator 305. After riding this um, a couple times, I had cramps in both my legs, and I've grayed out on every single turn. Never blacked out before, though. Intimidator 305, another number one choice. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that will be the end. Goodbye.